Hello guys, here is Shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make perfect maida chakli. Maida means plain flour and chakli is a very popular Indian snack during Diwali. Diwali is coming so I am going to show you how to make crispy and perfect market style chakli with just plain flour. I will share some tips and tricks to make it perfect. So guys, let's see the recipe. For the flour processing, I have taken a cotton cloth and a dish. In the cotton cloth, I am going to take 2 cups of plain flour, that means all purpose flour. Here is 1 cup and another cup. You can change the quantity according to your requirements, there is no problem. So now, I am going to close the cotton cloth like this. We need to steam the flour. So, I am taking a tiffin box. Here is my tiffin box and without the lid, I am going to steam the flour. I am going to bind the cotton cloth like this to avoid mess while steaming. So, it is done. On the other side, I have put some water to boil and the water is boiling very nicely. We need to steam the flour. So, I am putting a small bowl in the water and on the bowl, I am going to put the flour bowl, I mean the tiffin bowl of flour. I am covering the vessel and putting a weight on it to steam properly. We need to steam the flour for about 20 to 25 minutes and after 23 minutes, I am uncovering it and our flour is steamed nicely. I am taking it out. So now we need to open the cotton clothes to see how is our flour now. It's binded and uh, it's a little hard. So we need to loosen it. So in the clothes, I'm going to break the big lump of the flour. So, I am using this. I am heating the flour like this to break the lump to loosen the flour. So, it is okay. So, it is okay. I am going to open it. And still there are so many lumps in the flour. So, now I am going to sieve the flour to break all the lumps. So, I am taking a plate and a sieve and I am going to add a little quantity of the flour and sieve it to break all the lumps. To make it easy, I am going to use the spoon to break the lumps like this. So, I am going to do it little by little because my sieve is small in size. So, let's do it. So guys, all the flour is saved nicely. Now, I am going to add some spices. Half teaspoon of crushed black pepper. One teaspoon of whole cumin seeds. One teaspoon of ajwain, that means carom seeds. I am going to crush them in my palms like this. And now, 2 teaspoons of white sesame seeds. White sesame seeds will give the chocolate's market style look. So, I am using 2 teaspoons of it. And now, 1 fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder. 1 teaspoon of salt. You may add some red chili powder as well if you want. So, now I am mixing a little with the spoon. And after that, we need to make a dough. So, we need some water and I am going to add water little by little gradually to maintain the thickness, maintain the uh, consistency of the dough and we need a soft dough just like the dough of roti or chapati or paratha. So, my dough is ready and is very nicely soft as you can see. So, now we are going to make the chaklis. For making chakli. I am going to use a plate 
you may use butter paper or foil paper or a plastic using some oil like this or you may use a plate and grease some oil like this so on this plate i'm going to make chaklis for making chaklis i have a chakli maker that is called kitchen press 2 so i'm taking some portion of dough and making is long like this and here is my chakli maker i have put the plate of chakli so now we need to add the dough in the chakli maker i'm going to fill the chakli maker with the dough and we need to press a little to avoid air in the barrel so it's perfect now we need to close the barrel and here is the piston part i attached some foil paper on the piston because it is faulty i used it to prevent the dough from coming out so now let's cover it it's done let's make the chaklis one by one on the plate we need to press the piston from the back side and the chaklis come out like this if your dough is hard your chaklis will break so make a soft dough to make perfect chaklis and after making one whole chakli we need to seal the end part of it to avoid loosening in the oil so in the same process let's make all the chaklis quickly after making the chaklis don't go to fry them let them set for about 15 to 20 minutes in the air so our first plate is full i'm going to leave this plate for about 15 to 20 minutes to set and within this time i'm going to make other chaklis so i'm going to take another plate grease it with oil and on this plate i'm going to make more chaklis it's also done so guys i have made three plates of chaklis and here i have made one chakli with my hand without chakli maker i used my hands to make the dough long and after that i rolled it like a pinwheel so it's also perfect you can make chaklis like this if you don't have a chakli maker so guys let's go for the frying process for deep frying i've taken a fry pan and now i'm checking the oil we need a medium hot oil for perfect chaklis so i need to wait for some time until the oil is medium hot and now it's medium hot now now i'm going to add the chaklis one by one i'm going to add the first batch i made so here is the first batch after setting for about 15 to 20 minutes they are very perfectly set and now i can remove them with my hand very nicely and perfectly and add them into oil we need to add them one by one and now we need to fry them on medium heat don't make the heat low because in low heat the chaklis may break and they will absorb so much oil and become hard so keep the heat on medium and don't try to flip them quickly after adding them in oil after the lower side is fried well now i'm flipping them I'm doing it very carefully as you can notice so that they cannot break. In the space, I'm adding one more. After they're prominent, we need to keep them flipping and we need to fry them until a nice light brown color. We don't need a dark color for this. We need a light brown or light red color. So you can notice the change of the color it has started to be red and they are very crispy i can feel it with a spoon so i'm taking them out 
I am taking them out into another strainer to drain the rest of the oil like this. So, I am taking them out one by one which are crispy. In the same process, I am going to fry all the chaklis. This is the second batch. And after they are cooled down, now is the texture of the chaklis. And is the handmade chakli. It's also perfectly fried as you can see. No single chakli is broken as you can see. And all of the chaklis are perfectly crispy and not hard at all. Remember that the heat should be on medium or lowest. It should be neither low nor high. On high heat, the chaklis will burn very soon, but they will not be crispy. So, for perfect market style chaklis, follow all my tips and tricks and you will do the best. So guys, try this simple and delicious recipe during this Diwali and don't forget to share your experience with me. Hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to meet you in the next video. Bye bye, take care and happy Diwali to you all.